We'd like to welcome everyone watching Kajikawa Classic Softball. Arizona State defeating St. Thomas. That game just finishing up. So let's switch gears to basketball, all you softball fans. Arizona, UCLA going back and forth here at Pauley Pavilion. It's been a terrific first half. Here comes Rice. You bet. Right now, UCLA, 10 offensive boards. What a great number. They lead the conference in offensive rebounding. It's on the scout for Adia Barnes, but it's tough to keep those bodies from banging the offensive end. Quayle, that's got to feel good. Osborne not able to can the jumper. Quayle, good position. Here comes Gilbert. Osborne still looking for her first points of the game. Gilbert! I'm telling you, it doesn't take her long, huh? That woman knows how to score. You get 17 points in about an average of 31 minutes from her. And when she's on the floor, numbers are, are big. Hawkes tees up the three, cans it. What a first half for Hawkes. All those boards are now six points. Two of two from downtown. Like you said, a grip of rebounds, and This has been a heck of a game, Tammy Blackburn. Hawkes also has three assists. There's the high pick from Bay. Cunningham continues to sit for Arizona. Wild shot by Bay. She's got to. She's got to hit that. But she has to take that to the rim with confidence. That's what she has to do. She can't think about Iwala coming over and guarding her. Wide open is Rice. She's got 15. Nobody closing on her, and Arizona pays. High pick from Bay. Gilbert, and now Puyo. Gilbert wants to step through. Look at that, and one draws the foul from Brown, and Gilbert making her presence felt. Wondering when we'll see. Ah, here comes Cunningham. McKean is out. Gilbert at the line, ranked seventh in the Pac-12 in scoring. Almost 17 points a game. Last five, she's averaged 19 a pop. Welcome back to the court, young lady. It's 11th in field goal percentage at 43%. The lead is a deuce for UCLA. Hawkes. Gilbert finally comes down with it. Almost turns it over. Cunningham is going to bail it out and get it to her buddy Blakely. Pueyo quickly on the deck and scoring. Six now for Pueyo. Betts. Cunningham's got to let her go. London Jones hesitates, takes that big pick. Ten on the shot clock. Hawkes having herself a game. I, I mean, I, I don't know how you leave her alone from anywhere on the court right now, the way that Hawkes is shooting. Another three. For the jab, she's three of four. The scout says 24% three-point shooter. You're going to say, well, all right, let's see you make a couple. Well, she, she has. has. <laughs> yeah, she has, so you got to get out there. She drained one early in the first quarter from the corner on that right side, and, and she's been shooting ever since. you, you got to adjust in-game. Cuello rims out. Two-second differential between shot and game clock. That's how late we are in the second quarter. Bruins by three. Hawkes with almost a double-double in the first half alone. And Rice with 15 already. All right. 12 now for Osborne. Betts looking for the cutter, Osborne. Not there. You got to hurry if you're Gilbert. Good if it goes and just misses. What a... All right, so there was a clock malfunction, so let's give it a go. Third quarter underway. Iwala with that high pick. London Jones loses it. I want to remind you that lean benches for both clubs. 
injuries really hurting Arizona and of course injuries for UCLA but then those two players missing duty to be with their inner er, their national teams Dugalic and Zuntak take a look at UCLA's bench there Jada Williams a career high her freshman year 23 points at Oregon has had a bunch of other really good games for Dia Barnes and company this year 14 points against Stanford nine-time double-digit score and I think if you know, she's getting some valuable minutes and with Gilbert out the last three games without Zuntok and Dugalich Iwala getting that start Christine and Iwala just a little over Largest lead for Arizona was four. That was in the first quarter. Quayle looking for a cutter. Here's Martinez. Williams elevates. So smart to just go ahead and take what the defense gave her. Now you, you, you got to make a read, and she just did that there. Rice, you bet. That shot was falling and shooting. Right. There's the high pick, and now Martinez with four on the shot clock. A little too clever, and here comes Osborne. She's fouled by Jones. Her first points of this game for Charisma Osborne might come from the free throw line. Osborne finally in the book. Gets them both. 36-32 UCLA. Another turnover. Osborne with the quick hands. She's got help in the runner. Hawkes. Williams tried to draw the charge. It was close, but Hawkes will go to the line and hit the first. She's got the double double already. Hawkes. She's got three double doubles now on the season. And there they are, Emily on the left and Izzy on the right. And they get to showcase their talent. And I just think that this is such a wonderful opportunity for people to see that these are more than just basketball players. Corey Close was glowing when she was talking about the upcoming art show with those two women. And how cool is it that you get to go to a donor's house and this is going to be big time. They're going to make sure it's all done the right way, the right way that an art show needs to be. Five assists, less than two and a half turnovers per game for Rice. Yep. Great. She and Osborne, so impressive. Oh, bets. Take that. <laughs> Williams coming down the lane and really just nowhere to go at that point. Gilbert checking back in for Arizona. She was instant offense when she played. In that first half, as Martinez gets hammered again, she spent a lot of time on the fourth, fifth in the conference in steals, and she's been hot the last five coming into tonight's contest, averaging 14 and 9. She's got 10 right now, just barely under her seasonal average. Transfer out of West Virginia has been so steady through all of the injuries he has uh, for this, this Arizona club. Both teams with three subs. Sixth team foul, a chance for Arizona to get ever closer, under four to go in the third. Gilbert tees up the long ball and hits. Gilbert leads this club. She's a 42% three ball shooter. She launched that one from her hip and that's a big three for Gilbert. Hawkes going right over Martinez, sweeping in off the glass. I'll tell you, the thing that's standing out for me right now in this game for UCLA is the way that Rice and Hawkes have really just gone to the rim and hurt Arizona off the bounce and playing with confidence with that bounce, that dribble, and finishing strong when they get to the rim. Here it is again. She just has to get around a few players in transition. And then she says, nobody's going to step up and stop ball, so I'm going to go all the way.
Hawkins whistled for that foul. She's going to have to be careful. She's got three. Picked up two quick fouls yep. in the last minute. And Martinez will toe the line. She's a 77% free throw shooter, is Esmeri. She's got 12 right over her seasonal average. But again, hot as of late. So steady. 13 now. Betts looking for some help. London Jones. Osborne hesitates. Throws it away. Quick hands by Blakely. Here comes Arizona. Busted play. Gilbert wants it. She'll get it. Good D by London Jones. 13 on the shot clock for Gilbert. The lead is three for UCLA. Big pick by Bay. Gilbert going right at bats. Oh, Lauren just gobbles it up. Running the four. Hawkes stops. And can't get it down. Follows it home. 15 now for Hawkes. A block that stays in a live play by Betts and gets out running in transition for UCLA to score. Not a swat out of bounds and the game stops, but a live block and go the other way, run the floor, get your teammate in, in it, and Hawk has another bucket. Welcome back to action, Lauren Betts. My goodness. Here's the block. And really, it's a block possession, really, for Lauren Betts. The quick outlet to Kiki Rice, and then Rice looks up the floor to Hawkes, who only has to go one-on-one -on -one as Martinez gets back. The first miss and the follow-up by Hawkes. Gabby Hawkes and Kiki Rice leading the way offensively for UCLA as Cunningham checks back in for Arizona. Jones, by the way, London picked up her second just moments ago. Williams gets one of two. 44 40, UCLA, 205 left to go in the third. And here comes Osborne, full head of steam. Floater, Hawkins, just plain feeling it. <laughs> the assistant coaches at UCLA just stood up and gave each other a high five. Eight on the shot clock, Gilbert. Osborne thought she had all ball. Instead, she's going to get called for that foul. The three trays, that ties a career high. 12 rebounds, that ties a career high for Gabby. Not too shabby on the assist. She's got five. And Gilbert is knocking at the door for another double-figure game. I'm so glad she's back on the floor. Ten points now for Gilbert. Both Gilbert and Betts playing for their respective teams. It seems like forever since we've seen them in action. Great to have them back. Betts holding that ball high. Jones, three ball. Betts tips it to a friend. Hawkes will score. Again, credit Betts for keeping that ball alive. Gilbert. Oh, the reach. Jones will get called for the foul on the reach there. Charisma Osborne said, this is embarrassing. What an embarrassing performance by us. This was not characteristic. And they had to look themselves in the mirror and say, all right, are we going to refocus ourselves on the things, our principles that we focus on? Selflessness, consistency, togetherness, toughness, all the things that Corey and her staff really employ with this team. And they've done that. So Gilbert hits one of two. The lead is five for UCLA. Kickball. Ball. The officiating crew will belong, they say, to Arizona as Blakely checks back in. And credit for Arizona, credit Arizona, Tammy, for staying in this thing. More than staying in this thing. This is a potentially down to the wire kind of a game. That, no, it is. And, and you know, at one point, y'all look up the scoreboard, the score is 40 to 32, and you feel like UCLA has a momentum. And down comes Gilbert. She goes, she makes a bucket, or she gets to the free throw line. And right now, it's just a two possession game. One second differential. 
Shot and game clock. That's how late we are in this third quarter. Clever. Ten now for Pueyo. Gilbert wants it. Pueyo, tough shot. Can't get it down. Martinez with the offensive rebound. Nothing there. Oh, oh boy. I think Blakely committed that foul. Denied her that whole series. Didn't allow her to get a touch. Brown misses the first one. Doesn't go to the free throw line very often. 50% free throw shooter. So Blakely's foul does not hurt the call. Two rebounds gone to the free throw line five times the way that she creates. You can bet they're going to look for number 15 here in this fourth quarter. Slipping it inside. Betts with another block. And it looks like Gilbert stepped out of bounds. So again, Betts playing for the first time since January 22nd against Utah. How about that? Kiki Rice. Gilbert, long ball, back rimming off. Martinez. And Betts comes from behind to force the tie-up. It'll be UCLA's ball. Go back to that shot by Kiki Rice. She's got Jada Williams, the freshman, and she cuts in. And why is this breakdown so important? That's Kiki Rice. She gets middle penetration, right? If you guide her baseline, if you're Williams and you guide her baseline, you got that help, you cut her off at baseline. She gets to the middle. She's quick. And you give up that middle, and with Kiki Rice and the way she's playing right now, it's almost just a no-brainer that she's going to hurt you. Iwala checks in for UCLA, Cunningham for Arizona. Here's London Jones. We're early in the fourth and final quarter. Osborne with two points, no buckets, two free throws. Unbelievable, but playing some great, great defense, hitting some boards and assists. Others pick it up the slack. Seven on the shot clock. Osborne wanted the pick. She gets it. And now London's got to tee it up. Shot clock violation. Keep in mind that UCLA has five players with three fouls. Five. And there's a lot of time left to go. And that's a lean UCLA bench. Look at Rice playing the help defense. Tying up Cunningham. Ball stays with Arizona. Five on the shot clock now. Pueyo knows it. Or she's not going to get something good off. She doesn't know She it. didn't know it. I thought she glanced up and must not have. And that's just a blown opportunity for Arizona. And that this is it's a tough place for them to be, to be missing the, the shots that they are. Plenty of good looks. Neither team shooting the ball well the last two, three minutes. What a pass by Osborne to Iwala. Well, she drew those two defenders, and then the reverse spin just allowed Charisma one split second to see right out of the left side of her eye that Iwala was standing right there. UCLA playing without Dugalic and Zontak playing with their Serbian and German national teams for the Olympic qualifiers, respectively. And that certainly hurts the rotation for Corey Close. And I thought it was going to maybe, you know, challenge UCLA on the rebounding edge. It has not for them as they are out rebounding Arizona 39 to 22. And I said, where are you going to pick up seven rebounds that Dugalich get you? Well, guess what? Lauren Betts comes in. She plays. She gets almost her average in rebounding. And other players stepping up and doing that as well. Hawkes has been dynamite on the boards as Cunningham picks up another foul. She's got 12 rebounds. I mentioned Lauren Betts. She gets you about eight and a half, nine. She's got seven. Wondering if there's a good look at Betts. She's sitting with four fouls. Iwala's got four fouls. And Cam Brown hasn't been able to find the stroke from the free throw line. Three other players for UCLA with three fouls. Jones, Jaquez, and Car uh, excuse me, Cam. Good hands by Blakely. 52-45. UCLA with the lead. Under six to go in the fourth. Cunningham almost lost it. Blakely to the baseline. She is sent flying. Brown, Cameron, Betts, 
and you all are all with four fouls apiece. So a seven-point lead for UCLA, and Blakely at the free-throw line could cut it to five with three players with four fouls. Mm. Cam Brown, who can play all five positions, and knew that coming into this game she was probably going to have to based on the rotation. Affects the game no matter what. She's been awfully quiet offensively, but still impacting the game. London Jones. Wow. They're going to let him play. Rice. Wrap around. Goodbye to Brea Cunningham. So Bay will come back onto the floor, as will Betts for UCLA. London Jones hesitates. Short on that shot. Ball into the hands of Pueyo. Osborne, Cam Brown, Jones just haven't been able to find that rhythm shot that we see so much of tonight. Looping pass. Betts with another block for fourth. Rejection. She comes over to help Charisma Osborne again. Just, you know, changing shots. Affecting the game. Wow, what a pass. The great cut from Pueyo. But Martinez with the nifty dime. And it was quick. Played with pace, tempo, hard cut. One possession game here, four and a half. Cueo with eight. Rice inside to Betts. Martinez whistle for that foul, her third. Team's third, 52-49. Another close conference game for Arizona. You go for the steal and you get burned. Let's see if Arizona can answer. Ball up for grabs, jump ball, possession arrow favoring Arizona, excuse me, UCLA. This game still very much in the balance. Again, the first couple of weeks in January, Arizona lost, had five games decided by nine points. Or And Hawkes is going to say, we're not going to let this thing stay close. That was huge. That was huge recognition. Hawkes gave a little eye, but how about the pass from baseline. That's a little cherry picker there that I love. 21 points now for Hawkes. Look at Betts. Loses it though. The whistle blows the play dead. It'll be UCLA's ball. Two on the shot clock for Hawkes. Betts keeps it alive. Ball is tipped and stays in the hands of UCLA. Another hustle play going to the Bruins. So Betts with a live ball play to keep it alive, and you get a new 20, a little bit more clock, right? Seven-point lead. They were just, Arizona was just down by three points, just not too long ago. Now it's a seven-point lead. Now clock management. Wow. London Jones. Way short on that shot. Martinez, great job flagging down the offensive rebound. You got to look to score. You can't hold the ball too long. You don't want to use too much clock. Pueyo steps back, air ball. Betts just takes that thing from everybody. London Jones. That's good defense by Pueyo. Up top, Martinez. You bet. Quick bucket. See if UCLA uses a little clock, dumping it. Betts into the double. She'll go to the line. Rice will take a seat. She's got the 20 points. Mm, what a game! A couple so of far. boards and assists since January 22nd. Out for undisclosed medical reasons, and Betts has been stellar. She was giving you about 15 points in 24 minutes and about two blocks before that break that she had of missing four games. She comes back in. Now she's playing a few more minutes than her average and her point lines continue to go up. Big stick for Poyo. It has been the way that she has impacted this game yep. through changing shots and her blocks that has been so impactful. The way that she has tipped the ball, kept it alive. Extra possessions for this UCLA team because of Betts and her effort. Under a minute to go, Betts with the four blocks to go along with a bunch of boards, a few points, a total team effort for UCLA, but Betts has got to feel really good about being back on the floor and contributing. Hawkes blocked. Are well, they going to call it a jump ball? Okay. Possession arrow, Arizona. And if we did not mention this, 
Gabby Hawkins and her 13 rebounds, a new career, career high. Career high. Yes. Yeah. Very good. That kind of game for Hawkins and her three triples tie a career high. Turnover. Uh oh. Gilbert, you know she's going to shoot it. Way short on that shot. Brown, head up. Has a chance to extend that to eight points with only about 25 ticks left in this game. Nice bounce back victory for UCLA. Said that they wanted to make everybody know that they were a better UCLA team than what people witnessed against Stanford on Sunday. Long ball, back rim and off. For me right now, and to help each other through whatever it is that these players feel like they're going through and how they can help their teammates. And that is, you know, what Corey Close does when she's growing, teaching, mentoring, and coaching these young players is it's bigger than basketball. Gilbert and one. It's that tiny little sliver that she needs to catch and shoot. Gilbert, just a sophomore. All right, so we're just seconds away from putting this one to bed. Whistles keep on a blowing. Play their best basketball at the time that they want to be playing their best basketball. Seven now for Osborne. Quiet in terms of scoring from this player who leads the team in that department. But how she has impacted the game with the six assists, five rebounds, four steals. And a few points. And an 80-yard pass to Gabriela Hawkins <laughs> for a bucket on this Super Bowl weekend. Hawkins <laughs> adds to her career high rebound total.